What's up, guys? Ross here from Consolidata, and I am here to tell you that if you are paying a subscription to use a bot software to where it's texting or messaging people back and forth in your go high level. So that way you can offer this white labeled service to your customers. You can now stop. And I'll share with you what we've done. But first, I just want to give you an example here. You can see this on screen. So I've got my cell phone. I'm just texting here in this platform. And uh, I have this, I created a bot. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's free to build other than you have to have an open AI account. And um, I'm going to show you how to make this work. So notice here it says, Zachary from Rental X, are you looking to rent or purchase equipment today? And I'm going to put on here, I am looking to rent a skid steer. So I'm going to send that text message. I just want to give you an example of how this works. So you'll see my message pop through here in just a second. Go High Level has a little bit of a delay on there. And there it goes. Boom, pops back. Great choice. And you can set a delay, by the way. Now, do you have a specific size in mind or would you like some recommendations based off your use case? Also, how long do you need the rental for? I need it for three days. Uh, let's just say I'm just using it to move some dirt around the backyard. Let's just see what it comes back here and says. Got it. Based on your use case, I recommend a compact skid steer loader. Uh, given your need and more dirt in the backyard, a smaller, more maneuverable machine would be suitable for a three-day rental. Loader would be nine seventy-five. Does this work for you? So you can see this messenger bot. It can it's it's basically working through it. I want to show you how I did this. So we started building a platform called First Chat three months ago. Four months ago, we basically took open source code, altered it, used OpenAI. And the idea was we wanted to be able to upload documentation and prompts so that way we could have the bot speak to that. Well, in the midst of doing that, OpenAI launched their own thing. So if I go under OpenAI, the platform, I click here on API, you'll see over here they have this thing now called Assistance. And it's like, well, that's what we were building. So it's so easy to build an assistant. I'm like, well, I'm not going to sit here and try to compete with open AI. So the idea is, is how can you connect your assistant to your go high level? Boom, consolidate. So let me show you how you do this. I'm going to call this um, demo bot for the name demo bot. Your job is to be handsome and schedule demos. Um, and I, I have a whole format that I teach in my local dominations training on the best way to build these bots out. Then you can choose which model you want to use. If you want to add files for it to answer questions from, you can do that. Um, it's really, really nice. So then I'm just going to save this bot and then you can go in here and you can test it. You know, this is just an example, you know, of just building out a bot. Are you interested in scheduling a demo? So you, it, it, I'll show you guys um, over time how to build your own bot, but if you want to learn how to really do it in grain detail, you can go to our local domination class in our school community, and we actually have a, I'll show you guys a, we have a classroom on this down here, and I have a whole lesson on, you know, building your bot. So this makes it uh really, really easy to be able to work through. So anyways, once you build your bot and your assistant, a lot of people get stuck trying to get it to connect to go high level. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really easy. First step, what you're gonna do is you go create your bot and you're gonna wanna copy your assistant's ID and you'll also need your API key from, uh, from your account. Then what you're going to do is go into your go high level account and you're gonna just have to set up one automation really easy. It's basically when a customer replies, we wanna send them to this webhook. So where do you get this data? You go to Consolidata and in here under Dash Hub, you'll see this thing called OpenAI Chat Automation. You click on this and you just grab this webhook URL right there. And now all you're gonna do is pop, that right into your URL. Then you're gonna put this here, this message body, and you're gonna put this here, message body. So now what you're going to do 
is uh, save this. And now when a customer replies, it's going to call that webhook. Now inside of Consolidata, it's really easy. You click add automation. You're going to choose your location. You can choose uh, the sublocation. And then all you have to do is put yours or your customer's API key and then the assistant ID, save, boom. Now, right now, this is only going to work on your SMS messages this week. Next week, it'll come on Messenger and e like we're doing all of them. Now, the other thing you should note is the way that this stops sending messages to lead track or to open AI is when you assign a user. So what you're going to want to do is the second someone starts typing or messaging someone back, assign a user. The other thing that you're, you're going to want to do is make sure that you allow for re-entry. So make sure that when you turn on, when you create your webhook, that you allow them to enter more than once. So that way it keeps calling that webhook. Okay, guys, that is as easy as it is to set this thing up. So now go have fun, hook this up to your Go High Level account. Think about ways that you could do this though. You could go sell a bot to a client, hook it up through your OpenAI account. You could rebuild them, whatever you want on the usage and boom, set it up, rock and roll. You guys have an awesome day. We've got some really cool other features coming out for you this week, but this takes all the coding out of it. Now you can just go set up one webhook, set up your assistant, connect them, boom. Have a good day.